Big Scary's been around for a very long time. Over a year and a half ago, it was created. But how did Big Scary get to the point where it's at today? What is the history of Big Scary? This is a more up-to-date version of the history of Big Scary, as I made one over nine months ago. So let's make a new one. It all started when Shrek, his online name, started VR. He was a fan of Gorilla Tag and games like Capuchin, and that's where he got inspiration for Big Scary. He didn't have a ton of developing experience, and he was fairly new to it all. Big Scary's first multiplayer test was very basic, with a model that actually looks very similar to the model today. It was just a very basic play area, and the game's name was called It's Time. Now, I have some videos on very old versions of Big Scary, and I've even played some of the very first versions. Big Scary's first level was the first thing he made, but nothing really worked yet. If we fast forward a little bit, we can see the computer appear, as well as levels 1 through 3. If you didn't know, I have a video on the lost levels of Big Scary, and I go more in depth on this specific era of levels there. So if you want to see what the levels really looked like, check out that video after this one. Level 2 is always the same, but for some reason there was OBAMA! My fellow American. It's your president it's here, your president Barack, here Obama. Barack Obama. I'm here to announce a new fun VR game that has been released recently. <laughs> I don't know what this was about, but not gonna lie, it was pretty sick. My fellow American. Shame Obama had to go. Anyways, level 3 was a completely different concept at the time. It was the back rooms. Huh? Now we have the back rooms above the main area today, but back in this time, it was terrifying <laughs> for level 3. Spooky green lighting and a monster that was lost to the time of Big Scary. You had to travel through the massive level and get to the end where level 4 was which is the same as it is today, was waiting. Around this time, Shrek also added the flamethrower area where you could battle. But you're probably thinking, didn't this come out around level 14? And yes, you were right. This idea was taken out of the game somewhere around level five or six. It didn't really fit the theme of the game, but he eventually added it back. And I think it's pretty fun, so I'm okay with it being here. There was also this area called the ban room where people who were banned would go. But if you think about it, they were banned for a reason, and if they could still say things, it kind of defeated the purpose of them getting banned. Like, if they were saying really bad things, they could just say it, but from the banned room, so that's why he scrapped the idea. Anyways, I think level 3 was removed due to it being actually too scary, which is crazy. But you know what isn't scary like level 3? Subscribing to the channel. Please subscribe for Banan. So level 4 was the same as it is today, except you flew off and died. Level 5 was eventually added, and I'm pretty sure there's a different area for this level too. I have some footage of a climbing level where you push a button, and the level flooded so you had to climb up fast, but this level was eventually scrapped too because Big Scary is supposed to be a spooky game, not a parkour game. Level 6 also had changed, and used to be a parkour level as well. There's a lot of parkour. I think that would be kind of cool though if we made like a parkour area for Big Scary. Anyways, level 6 had a lava floor with moving obstacles you had to parkour past to win. I liked this level a lot, but I do agree it did not fit the theme of Big Scary, so it makes sense it was scrapped in the end. Now as all of this was happening, he was changing and adding into the main area. He added the credits room so you could see all the beta testers and moderators who were in the game. This room has also changed a lot today because of promotions and demotions of mods and betas. The shop used to be just just four hats to select from, but was eventually transformed into the basic outline of what it is today. So level 6 was made into what we know it as today, and level 7 released, and this update added the first collectible hats you could find. Two hats hidden in the level that you could get. I'm pretty sure it released onto App Lab around here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. The vending machines had banana bucks too, which you could find around the levels. They were also green at this time, like money, instead of yellow banana bucks we know today. Then level 8 came out, bringing the new level. And this is when I started playing, actually. The shop was so different from what it was today, and it's crazy to see how far we've come. Level 9 was a massive update and added Halloween decorations everywhere. The first bundle ever was added to the game now, and it is the only bundle that Shrek ever took away, so it is a very rare one. This big new level added so much to the game, and a hint to the next update above the main area appeared. As soon as the next update came out, the back rooms was open. This is the first area outside the main levels. It was so exciting to explore the infinite rooms with a monster chasing you, but this place did get pretty boring, and I think it should have new stuff added eventually. Level 10 released, and Big Scary was growing fast around this time. Creators making videos on the game, and with level 10 coming out being one of the scariest levels. Around this time, banana bucks were changed from green to yellow. Level 11 added one of the best levels to the game, 
it added Hasbula in the vents, and the level was just so much fun to play. And there was a free pet to get, the first ever free pet. Level 12 dropped with tons of winter and Christmas decorations everywhere. Secret hats to find in a brand new bundle with the worst pet ever added to the game. BE QUIET! There was also a place called the Secret Elf Room, which left the game before level 13 came out. It was a very hard room to get to. Level 13 was leaked before it even came out, as many people, including me, tried to get into the level before it actually released. And when it came out, it was a fun level, but WAY TOO LOUD! Level 14 was the biggest update to ever come to Big Scary. This update added the flamethrower area back to the game. It also added my name outside of the map, which is a super cool secret for people who get outside to see. The level itself was okay, Bruh. but this update added the creator hat to the game. And because I was making videos on the game, I was the first person to ever have it. Actually, that's not true. Stout Snow got it first, but, you know, first is the worst, second is the best. The Valentine's update came out with pink everywhere! You're ready to go blind, cause your eyes will be pink after you play this game. The cursed bundle with the cursed Shrek pillow, uh, let's just move on. Level 15 added the cursed clown level, and another pet collectible. Then shortly after Big Scary went down for a bit. It felt so long waiting for the new level while the game was down, but eventually we returned with level 16. Add in some cool features like the train to the game. Easter came out with an egg hunt, and if you could get all the eggs, one in each level, you could get a special hat. The Easter update had a new bundle, and oh gosh, you really made another one of these things? BE QUIET PLEASE! But around this update, something big happened. I figured out how to get outside of Big Scary. I escaped the bars that held us at spawn. But what could this mean? There was nothing out there, and I talked with Shrek, and we decided to add a fun secret. The gas station! The gas station came out with the voxel horror update. It added cookies, DON'T STEAL THEM! And it added this cursed flame room, for some reason, I don't even know. Voxel horror added a fun place to build and get creative in the style of Big Scary. It was so much fun at the time, but I almost never go there anymore. Level 17 dropped with a new game mechanic, shooting enemies to beat the level. There was a new bundle too, and another hat you could get. I was also added to the staff room. Big Scary also dropped merch around this time, which, speaking of merch, I actually have a merch store. I have some cool things you can get so you can be dripped out. Yeah. Also, make sure to check out the membership for the channel, as I have a ton of cool perks and special videos only for the members. And one last thing, join the Discord down below. I have one for Keep Climbing, a game I'm working on, and one for Average Gang, the YouTube stuff. Level 18 was next, with so much. Level 18 was a fun place with a new way to complete the level. But something, a big secret, was added. My... Uh, face? So there was a secret level added underneath the map with a cursed next bot creature with, yes, my face. This update also added my custom cookie hat cosmetic, and the band area was back, but you didn't go there when you got banned. Then there was a revamp added to the game. Level 2 and 3 were remade to look completely different. There was also a strange Furby room added, uh, for some reason. Level 19 was next, adding a big new feature. Cars, or trucks. I guess. But you could drive these trucks around and find pumpkins to carve to beat the level. The one year hat was also added to the game, and a new bundle too. And finally the space update was added, and this is the new biggest update, adding three levels you could fly to in the rocket ship. Three new hats and a new bundle were added, and a second creator hat, which for some reason nobody has yet, and we are still waiting to see for Shrek to tell us how to get it. There's also a nuke in the game now, wait, why? But that's where we end off. Big Scary has come so far, and I can't wait to see where it goes next. Thank you, Mokru, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>